Record me. Huh? Record me. I'm gonna do a trick first try. But keep it, keep it filming. Don't stop. Like this? Yeah. Lock the door. What's up? Okay, so um, a lot of people have been asking me what happened to all my yards. Um, they're asking, am I managing them from Costa Rica? Did I hire an employee? Or am I just taking a long break from them? I made a video explaining it in the beginning when I first got here, but I'll just say it again for those who didn't watch it. So I came here kind of abruptly. It was like, I think I bought my ticket two days before I arrived. It, I like moving impulsively. I don't know. That's just how I've always done it. So what I did was before i left to costa rica i was going to gnc to buy these flame protein bar thingies that i don't even eat right now because i don't like them but i was going and then when i was walking back to my truck there was a kid who looked kind of roughly my age maybe a little bit younger and then he I, he was looking at me and i've been noticed maybe like five times and then I, I figured he watched my youtube videos because we're both in san antonio and i tagged san antonio in my videos so he comes up to me he's like yo zach um i was just watching your video right now to make sure that was your white truck because i was driving my work truck because i sold my other car for bitcoin so i just was driving my truck he said yo um i have a little business i'm trying to get it going i'm having a hard time getting customers and he just asked me for tips on marketing and he told me he was on lawn starter and green pal or those apps like that where you do the middleman thingy to get jobs but it kind of sucks because they take a big cut and he showed me he just ordered magnets business cards flyers all these things and we just had a cool 30 minute talk about life and business and stuff and then that was it he gave me his card and then i went about my way and then after i got home i decided i'm gonna go to costa rica and then i'll show you all the screenshots of the conversation that i had right now but i just told him i was like yo i know you do a good job i know how bad you want it you remind me of myself so i'm just gonna give you my 20 25 ish customers and i trust and hope that you can take care of them like i did and of course he was all happy and excited and he said hell yeah i'll take care of him and he's been doing that he's been sending me photos of him he's been maintaining them properly all the customers are happy and that's pretty much it and then other people are saying why would you do that why don't you just manage them and just take a cut and have somebody mow the yards for you honestly just me being in a different country i didn't want to have to deal with controlling and managing a worker while i'm not even in the area it just sounded too technical for the money that would be coming and i've had to be paying them off the top and then making it a legal employee i don't want to do it under the table it just didn't sound very appealing to me for what i'm trying to do i'd rather just start a new online gig which is what i did with makemoneymowing.com where i could just help other people start businesses versus me trying to delegate and manage to someone while i'm out of the country maybe if i was in the area and i could go stop by the yards and see and quote in person that's fine but other than that i just honestly it wasn't me but maybe you're different and then someone said why don't why didn't i just sell the yards and give them to somebody and just say like a three month evaluation or two months even just something versus just giving them all away for free and honestly i don't know i just wanted to do something really cool and badass and hopefully change someone's life and he just told me that he quit both of his part-time jobs so he can go full-time into his business which is what, he, what he's been wanting to do and so i just figured that's way cooler than me trying to go and get quotes and for my business and try to sell my evaluations it, it, i just i don't know i just really wanted to come out here to costa rica on a whim and do something random and exciting and that's what i did versus selling my accounts or trying to hire an employee to manage my accounts i just figure i can do it all over again and get my customers back and practice what i preach whenever i'm back in america that's what i plan to do honestly i miss mowing um i like being here it's cool i guess but i i like working and i wouldn't mind doing two three five hundred dollar work days each week and making an extra one thousand fifteen hundred per week but i can't because i'm here and i don't know the currency trade-off and i'm a gringo so it's not gonna work but that's my little background story i'll show you the screenshots right now and yeah so let me just show it to you so here's our little interaction i won't read every single thing you can stop and read if you want but i'll just give you the breakdown of how it all went down so i just surprised him one morning right before i left to costa rica i said yo it's zach from youtube haha and i'm gonna be taking some time off to go be here with my fiance and i'd be honored if you could take over all my customers i trust you i've seen your work i think you'll do a great job i think you're in a great position because you're hungry and you're just starting out you're not somebody who's just comfortable just squeaking on by you're trying Trying to get this off the ground just like i was and you remind me of myself so i just said i'd be happy if you could take them on and if that's okay with you i'll give them all to you and then i sent him a picture of my little notepad showing each customer their name their location and the price and then i just give him a little bit more info telling them how tight they are from like 
two blocks down from each other, like Bandera de Calabria, that's maybe like, I don't know, seven miles, but it's all very tight. They're all broken up into each day. And then I sent them more pictures. I wish they would load, but they're not. And then I said, this is the message I said to all my customers. I just explained to them what was happening. I said, I was gonna be taking some time off and I thanked them so much for all their business and I found a replacement for them. I gave them Austin's contact and I gave Austin their contact so they could all begin communicating. And I said, if there's anything else that you need me to do to moderate in between or to help you guys out, just let me know. I said that to my customers and they were all very understanding and happy. So he said, thank you so much, dude. You don't understand how much I appreciate this. It's so funny. He was literally thinking about how am I gonna get my business off the ground? And then I sent him this message. It's such a blessing. And that's really all that I I wanted. I didn't want money. I didn't want to try to work out a deal. I just wanted to hand them off and try to change someone's world and give him a new fresh start to launch this business. And I hope in return that everybody else does cool stuff like this. And that's pretty much it. He was asking me if um, anything else that he can do for me. I told him, no, I don't want anything. And then like two weeks later, I said, yo, actually, can you just mow my mom and dad's yard? They have a tiny yard because we have chickens and they eat all the grass. And he was like, of course, I'll mow the yard. So he's been doing it for my parents. And that's all that I wanted. And um, I told him a little bit more easy money, just um, base minimum three to 4,000 a month from just the mowing and then fertilizer, everything on top, just add even more income to that. And I just told him why I picked them. I just said, thank you so much. I was just as appreciative because he's benefiting me just as much as I'm benefiting him. And then he just said he's gonna keep me posted. And then I sent him a little bit more contact info, um, pictures of yards, examples, like this, look at this small $60 mow. And then he was all happy and excited. And then right here, um, he's sending me all the pictures. This is what I wish I could show the most, but they're all paused and not loading. But this is an example. He's just sending me the yards. They're super happy with the work. He's getting used to them. The customers are getting used to him and it's all just going very smoothly. And then um, right here, one more thing I'll show you is this little cool part right here. So he texts me this like two weeks after. He says, good afternoon, bro. I just wanted to tell you, I think I'm gonna go full blown out with the lawn stuff and leave the two jobs I've been working out and just have the faith to do landscaping full time. You've been a huge inspiration. If it wasn't for you giving me these lawns, I don't think I would have felt confident enough to go full time with the landscape. So tomorrow I'm putting my two weeks in at my jobs and I have the faith to do the landscape. And then he ended up going full time with it and it's been happily ever after. So that's my little story of what I did, how I handled it. I didn't try to get money for my yards. I didn't try to hire a worker. I just wanted a clean slate. I wanted to hand them off and change someone's world and I'm I think I accomplished that he's happy I'm happy I hope you're happy and that's my little story of what I did with my yards and whenever I'm back in America I'll just land them all over again just like I did because I already know how to do it and that's the cool part about being a business owner you could just relocate wherever you want and start from scratch because you already have all the ads ready you already know how to do it it's just a matter of applying it just like you did but now you're twice as fast and efficient because you've done it already once so that being said I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope this gave you small business motivation. As always, makemoneymowing.com. I would love to work with you. I have a full mentoring program. I have a course that breaks down everything that I did to get to the position that I'm at now to just be hanging out in this cool place. And you can do it too. Um, no special snowflake over here. Just same 24 hours as everybody else. You could surpass me by using my knowledge to do what I did, but in a much quicker and faster time. Okay, peace out.